de Ford techniek Arch Reduction Formulas. Reduction formulas will be used when we have an integral which depends on a natural number. So what we will try to do is write this integral in terms of previous integrals. So in terms of integrals with lower natural numbers. Easiest way is again to look at it through an example. So we have for example an integral of x to the power n e to the power minus x dx. So we see here that we have a dependency of n. And so let's say that this integral is the integral i n. We can solve it through partial integration. So set u is x to the power n, which means that dv is e to the power minus x dx. If u is x to the power n, then du is n times x to the power n minus 1 and this means that v is e to the power minus x with a negative sign. One important remark to make here is that we set u equal to x to the power n. If you are confronted with x to a certain power then you will always set it as u never as v. Why? Because we want to decrease the power. We want to make the power smaller so we have to derive x to the power n to make it a smaller power. If you put it in v or in dv, then the power increases in every step and so your integral will become more difficult. Applying then this partial integration, this gives me u times v, so it's minus e to the power minus x times x to the power n, minus the integral of v du. So minus becomes a plus e to the power minus x and then du is n times x to the power n minus 1 dx. So the integral i n is equal to minus e to the power minus x times x to the power n plus n times the integral of e to the power minus x x to the power n minus 1 dx. We now see that this integral, this is the same as the original integral but with the power n minus 1 instead of n. So we can say that this is the integral for n minus 1 instead of the integral for n. And so the formula that we found is that my integral in my nth step, so for the value n, is minus e to the power minus x, x to the power n, plus n times the previous integral. And so this formula, this is called the reduction formula. And so using this reduction formula, you can build up the different integrals. So the first one, i0, this is minus e to the power minus x, x to the power 0, plus 0 times the previous integral. So this is just minus e to the power minus x. And then, of course, we still have to add the constant. Next, we then calculate i1 by using i0. So this is using the formula minus e to the power minus x, x to the power 1 plus 1 time the previous one. So minus e to the power minus x plus a constant. And so we get minus e to the power minus x, x plus 1 plus a constant. And we continue. So i2, i2 is e to the power minus x, x squared plus 2 times the previous one which was minus e to the power minus x times x plus 1, plus your constant. So this is minus e to the power minus x times x squared plus 2x plus 2 plus a constant. And then you can continue calculating until the integral that you need. For the second example, let's take a definite integral this time. So take the integral of cosine x to the power n dx and between the boundaries 0 and pi over 2. So again we have a dependency on n, let's call this integral i n and we will then solve this integral through partial integration. So this is the integral of 0 to pi over 2 cosine of x to the power n minus 1 times the cosine of x dx 
set u equal to cosine n minus 1 x and dv is cosine of x dx. This means that my du, du will be equal to n minus 1 times cosine of x to the power n minus 2 times the derivative of cosine which is minus sine of x dx and then dv is equal to cosine x dx means that v has to be equal to sine of x. We then apply the formula for partial integration. So this is u times v. So cosine n minus 1 x times sine of x. But since it's a definite integral, it's between the boundaries pi over 2 and 0 minus the integral of v du. So v is sine of x du is minus so the minus makes a plus in between times n minus 1 cosine to the power n minus 2 of x sine of x dx and then again between 0 and pi over 2 then the first part if you plug it in the sine of 0 is 0 cosine of pi over 2 is 0 so this drops out so this is just a 0 and we only have the second part the integral which is left so this is n minus 1 times the integral from 0 to pi over 2 sine squared of x cosine n minus 2 of x dx. We then replace sine squared by 1 minus cosine squared of x, still the boundaries, times cosine to the power n minus 2 of x dx. So it's n minus 1 integral 0 to pi over 2 cosine to the power n minus 2 of x minus cosine to the power n of x dx and so we see that we have again integrals of cosine to a certain power so if we write down the reduction formula this is i n is equal to n minus 1 times the integral n minus 2 because we have a power n minus 2 here, minus n minus 1 i n, because here we have a power n. So then n times i n is n minus 1 times i n minus 2, or i n is n minus 1 divided by n times i n minus 2. So here we have a reduction formula, which skips a step. So my integral depends on the integral which came two steps before. So here we have to calculate i0 and i1 separately, and then we can use those to build up all the other integrals. First i0, so i0 is the integral from 0 to pi over 2 times dx. So this is x between pi over 2 and 0, so this is just pi over 2. Then also i1 which we need to calculate explicitly. The integral 0 to pi over 2, cosine of x dx. This is sine of x between pi over 2 and 0. So it's sine of pi over 2, which is 1, minus the sine of 0, which is 0. So here we have a 1. And now we have two options, either n is even or n is odd. If n is even, we start off with i0. With i0, we can find i2. With i2, we can find i4, and so on. So in general, i n will be pi divided by 2 for i0. And now we get multiplications 1 over 2, 3 over 4, 5 over 6, and so on. Until we get to where we are now, so n minus 3 divided by n minus 2 and n minus 1 divided by n. If on the other hand n is odd, then we start off with i1 which has a value of 1 and we build up each step an i with a higher value, so i3, i5, i7. And then in the end if you write all of this down you find that i n is n minus 1 divided by n times n minus 3 divided by n minus 2 and so on, up to 6 divided by 7, 4 divided by 5, 
2 divided by 3 times 1.